Welcome back to part three of our series on the causes of increased inflammation and autoimmune diseases. So far, we've talked about how chronic inflammation can damage our bodies and the role of diet in fueling that inflammation. Today, we're going to explore another major contributor, environmental toxins. Every day, we're exposed to thousands of chemicals in our environment, from our air, our water, our beauty products, and our household cleaners. Many of these chemicals are known as endocrine disruptors, meaning they interfere with our hormonal systems and can trigger inflammation and immune responses. Some of the most common sources of these toxins, pesticides and herbicides. Used extensively in agriculture, these chemicals can make their way into our food and water supply, contributing to inflammation and immune dysfunction. Heavy metals. Metals like lead, mercury, and cadmium can accumulate in our bodies from various sources, including contaminated water, dental fillings, and some vaccines. These metals are highly inflammatory and can trigger or exacerbate autoimmune conditions. Household and personal care products. Many cleaning products, cosmetics, and plastics contain harmful chemicals like phthalates, parabens, and BPA, which can disrupt the endocrine system and contribute to chronic inflammation. One of the problems with these toxins is that they tend to accumulate in our bodies over time. Even small daily exposures can build up and lead to significant health issues. This accumulation is particularly concerning for people with a genetic predisposition to autoimmune diseases or those with weakened detoxification pathways. The good news is that you can take steps to reduce your exposure to these harmful substances. Choose organic foods when possible, use natural cleaning products, and opt for personal care products free from harmful chemicals. Even small changes can make a big difference over time. In our next video, we'll discuss how stress and lifestyle habits can further exacerbate inflammation and autoimmune diseases.